Hey Floss 2 Bits Julie with Reflections Framing and Stitching. Today is Friday the 12th of May and it has been seven months since my last chart of the week video. Kind of feel like I'm in confession. <laughs> I I don't know. I mean if I stop and think about it I know I know how seven months have gone by but uh, I didn't I did not think it was I didn't think it had been that long. Um, <clears throat> so, I'm here. This is Chart of the Week video number 143, and welcome. Uh, I, I, I apologize for the long absence, um, but uh, we're going to try and do better. Hopefully we're not, you know, all of the things that prevented it are pretty much over now I hope a um, couple of business things I want to take care of right at the beginning before people tune out um, just an FYI the 4th of July will be coming before I know it and I want to start letting people know I am going to take vacation I'm not 100% sure of the dates yet but it's probably somewhere around June 26th through July 7th would be would be the date somewhere in there I may be gone the entire time I may not I haven't I can't decide what I want to do yet but I do want to have a, a decent vacation this year um, and I want a couple of days before all the other people come. So I have a couple of days to just sit and, and do what I want to do instead of wait on other people. So if you could just kind of put that in the back of your mind, um, the website will probably be shut off while I'm gone. I will leave a message on the machine. I'll put a notice on Facebook and there's always the calendar on the website that you can check when I actually put the dates in there. Uh, I am going to have to make up my mind here pretty soon because Dan needs to put in for his vacation. So part of me wants to go the entire time and part of me is like, Ooh, that's a lot of time with no air conditioning in a kind of moldy, rustic spot. I, you know, I can handle a few days of that. <laughs> I don't know if I can handle that many days of it. And that's my, that's my sticky wicket. Um, so there's that, and then I just want to reiterate one more time. Well, it might not be the last time. Um, but um, my new location is still confusing people greatly. So I just want you to know that, yes, it is in a red brick building. Yes, there are lo lawyers' names on the outside of the building. So they're on one side and on the, of the door, and the other side of the door has the the numbers, the 1620. Um, so you can believe that, yes. You'll come in the doors and there's one on each side um, on the front of the building that faces like the police station and, and city offices. Um, there's doors on either side. You'll come in either side of those. You'll see the elevator, take the elevator down one floor and there I am. Uh, I still am getting a lot of people who are confused by the red brick building. So I wanted to say that one more time. Also, people are looking for Wilshire Drive, which I totally understand looking for Wilshire Drive. That's the address. However, if you're, if you're coming in off of 370, it's going to say Robin, Robin Lane, Robin Drive on your, the right side. And it's going to have Wilshire on the left side. Um, if you're heading east on 370. Uh, but the Wilshire part is hidden behind the trees. So you can't see it. So look for the two auto sto part stores and you'll turn in between those two. Um, hopefully that will help with any confusion that is still out there. The monument sign is partially up. There's no names or anything on it yet. They're still working on that part. But it is up, it does have power to it. So I anticipate that that will happen pretty shortly. 
I hope. Um, those, so those, I think, are the business things that I wanted to mention. Yeah, I have. I, I don't know if I remember how to do a chart of the week video, to be honest with you. Uh, so we're just going to wing this just a little bit. I do not have a question of the week. If you wouldn't mind letting me know in the comments whether you like the question of the week or you'd rather I just leave it off. Um, I, I, I always find the answers interesting, but maybe the rest of you are like, oh, this is stupid. So if you could let, just let me know, um, and I will, I will take the majority and, and go with it. So, all right. So the chart of the week, if you follow me on Instagram, you saw me post a picture of it saying video was coming soon. Um, I chose, because it had just arrived and I think it's really cute, is uh, Seaside Tiny Town from Heart and Hand. And it looks, let me turn it so you can see it better, like this. Look at the cute little crabs. Three crabs. It's got a pelican right there. That's a pelican, yeah. Pelican. Um, cute little houses, a lighthouse. It's adorable. It's stitch count. Let's see. It's here somewhere. 176 by 30. So, and it calls to be stitched on 32 count natural brown undyed linen. I don't happen to have any of that. It's very rough linen and I don't, I don't care for it. So I don't ever order that. Um, the approximate size on 32 count is going to be 11 by 1.87. So this is not a very big piece, which is why the fabrics that I have chosen are all 32 count or 28 count. Um, the stitching it on 36 count is going to be, you know, you're not, no, I wouldn't recommend it on for this particular piece. Um, it calls for classic color works, and there are a boatload of them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 different colors in this tiny little thing. Uh, I have pulled both the DMC and the overdies. It's been stitched with the overdies, and you can... You know, when I was first thinking about it, I'm like, oh, you're, there, there's, it's so tiny, you're not really going to see much derogation to it. Um, so is it really worth doing the, the overdies? And I would, this is just my opinion. Don't, don't come for me. <laughs> just my opinion. I might pick and choose which ones I would do the overdies for. And, um, like the white, I... I'm perfectly fine with using DMC white. The the called for is snowball. There's really no no reason to use snowball. Um, and there there is quite a bit of white in there, so I probably would just I would just use the DMC or anchor white or sulky white or whatever white you like to work with. Um, but I do see that there's some variation in the colors for the rest of the colors. The crab I might not use because he's so tiny. But the house, the buildings definitely I would probably use the um, overdides for. Especially if I happen to have them at home. Um, because you're not you're not really going to use very much of any of the colors so anyway um, that's kind of what I can tell you about the chart instead of the how did she put it natural brown undyed linen I just chose some raw natural from Zweigart looks like that and I'm gonna show you both versions there are some differences between the DMC and the Overdyne. Uh, one of them, most notably, 
is going to be is this color right here which is DMC 502 and she's calling for barrel cactus which is much much sorry see I'm out of practice um, this one right here barrel cactus is much much lighter than that so that's one of the the main differences this is more of a mocha brown whereas the called for I think it's straw hat from classic color works is more of a golden brown those are, I think are the main differences the rest are pretty pretty close pretty close not exact though so anyway, this is the DMC. I did remember to put put the floss on the my little stick, so I'm doing good there. So those are the different colors on the DMC, or the different DMCs on the fabric. Ben and Kate, I know you're laughing. Stop it. And no, I'm not going to uh, edit this. So you're just going to have to... You're going to have to live with it. Ben and Kate, in case you didn't know, are my niece and nephew. And they watch my videos. So I have to be careful I don't talk bad about them. Not that I would, but, you know. Okay, so there are the colors of the overdyes. And see this barrel cactus right there, much lighter than the other. And this is much more golden. But the colors all look good. E either or looks good on the natural. But you know, I like to give you choices. So, um, in Ada, this is a 16 count, appropriately named Seaside, which is a light blue it's got some so in in my in my head <laughs> in my head when I was pulling um, fabric for this I'm thinking oh it's seaside and then my head went to um, you know red sky at night sailors delight red sky at dawn sailors be warned or something like that um, so in my head I kind of had this kind of sunsetty thought in my head that that I would like maybe a fabric that kind of looked like that um, so and this one kind of has that has that look there's some there's no pinky really in it but it it kind of gives that oh something's going on kind of thing uh, so I don't have a whole lot of it left, and it may be, it may be, although I think I checked it, and I think the one color that might be an issue, which is going to be, I think, the barrel cactus, um, I think it's going to be okay. But it could, could possibly be an issue, just keep that in mind if you're going to use the overdyes that the barrel cactal cactus so that's what they look like I was talking to my friend Donna last night and she wanted to know which was my favorite color and I hadn't really looked at it that closely last night so I'm sure she's going to ask me again after after this which is my favorite and I have I have a couple I can't I can't decide so um, but I think this would be really pretty it's a good option oh, no I can't see hopefully that's working for you but again see see this is much darker and I think it would be fine on if you use the DMC version like I said, mix and match maybe. And dye lots change, we all know that, so 
someone else's dye lot of barrel cactus might be a little darker, although generally speaking it's it's pretty light. Um, also in a 14, this is a 14 count beta. Uh, by the name of Country French Cafe Mocha. That one would work just fine. It doesn't give you a red sky sort of feeling, but it, it does, if you're, if you're wanting to look as close to the model as possible, as close to this, then this, this is probably a good option for you. And there's the DMCs. I have one more Ada option for you. This is all the things. It's a Mystic Fabrics color. It's really pretty got some nice modeling on it. It's just a very, very good neutral. Those would all be pretty on there, as would the DMCs. say what count this was? This is a 16 count. All the things. Okay, then I'm muting her. It's okay, she doesn't watch, so she's not going to know I muted her. Um, okay, so going into the 32 count linens um, to give you some ideas for what else you could do. This is Picture This Plus Pewter. It's kind of a bluish gray. And I think all the colors would look good on there. This one, again, could be an issue, but I think it's going to be fine. And here's the DMCs. I, I kind of like this one. I would, is it my favorite? Mm, mm, no, probably not. Mostly because it doesn't have the the pinky reddish red sky at night thing. But I, I do like how the floss looks on there. Uh, next choice, 32 count stone washed from Seraphim. She has some of the prettiest colors. Now this one would kind of give you that red sky kind of sunsetty look because it's got some rusty kind of rusty red portions to it but it's a nice I don't know if the lights blowing it out or not but it's it's got a nice kind of aqua-y blue let's see let me hold it this way so it would kind of give you that that sky look that I was referring to. But again, little barrel cactus might be an issue. I don't think so. But I'm going to keep saying it just in case. And then there's the DMC. So I do like that. That that could potentially be a favorite. Um, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna swear to that, but could potentially be a favorite. Uh, this is 32 count Boston. 
this would give more of a there's no pinky in it it's just a kind of a moody green blue color it comes in a little bit different every time sometimes it's more green sometimes it's more blue this particular time it's more a little more on the green side but I think all the colors would be fine on there Here's the DMC. There you go. Get a good up close look. I do adore this color though. It would give it a moodier look. Um, this has the potential to maybe be my favorite. It is atypical from Mystic Fabrics, but it does have that pink, rusty pink, you know, it, it's not a blue sky, but um, it does remind me of the, the sunsets. spread them out a little better. So I do like this one quite a bit. And the DMCs. Looks good, doesn't it? do like that one. That that could be it, Donna. I don't know. Okay, that's it for the linens. I have two uh, Luganas. Uh, one of them is just a nice neutral, which is not another sampler um, from Bestitch Me, I believe. Yes, Bestitch Me. This was the color that my friend Linda said I had to have of Bestitch Me's fabric. It was the, her most popular color. So I did get some, but not a lot. She was sold out. But everything would look good on there. Um, Okay, now, for a slightly out of the box, could look like not very good when stitched, although I think it will, <laughs> but it's pretty far out of the box, but it gives me my, my whole, my whole red sky at night. Um, it's called Marauder's Map. This is a 28 count Lugana. This is an under the sea fabric. Um, As you can see, it's it's salmony pink, different shades, some lighter, some darker, but it kind of gives that sunset okay. I don't know if the true color is showing to you or not, but um, you tell me what you think because <laughs> this one is kind of out of the box but I do think I don't think I think it would work but it would make it look like the sky is on fire which is not going to be to everyone's taste but I wanted to give it as an option Some people like like different fabrics and Okay. That is
is the last fabric choice I have for you. How did I do? Did I do? Did I remember what to do? I know. There's, there were some some flubs in there, but what can I say? It's been seven months. So, um, yeah. Normally, this would be when I would ask you a question of the of the week, but I don't. I don't have one. I thought I'd see if that was something you wanted me to continue or not before I just willy-nilly go ahead and do it. Um, that's, I've already given you the information that I need to pass on about the shop. I did want to remind everyone to be stitching for their fairs, both county and state fairs. Deadlines will be coming up before we know it. I don't think I'm going to have anything. If I do, it'll just probably be pin pillows. I do have some stitching to show you, but I'll probably do that in not a chart of the week video because I'd like to keep these pretty much just about the chart of the week. Um, so hopefully maybe this weekend I will record a, a, a different video showing you what I worked on and talking about retreat a little bit and uh, some antiquing just some general chit chat so um, I think I will let you go I've been lucky this is it's still it's only 348 and I want to try and get this started uploading before I go home I was really lucky that no one came in and interrupted so anyway I want to thank you all for hanging in there I have received quite a few messages from people saying when am I coming back with the chart of the week um, it just, you know, between getting sick in October and trying to find a new place to uh, move the shop to in November and moving in December and first part of January and then came getting ready for market and then came market and then getting the post-market stuff and then retreat. It just, um, it was a lot. <laughs> it's, it's why I want to go on vacation. I just want to just want to relax and and uh, enjoy the family a little bit so uh, I want everyone all you mothers out there have a happy Mother's Day uh, I don't think we're doing anything special I'd really like everyone to come over and start cleaning out my basement because when we moved the shop a lot of stuff went into my basement and that's as far as it's gotten some of it can be gotten rid of. Some of it I might need to bring here. Some of it I might need to find. Like there's some pieces, models I took I took home and um, because you can't get the chart anymore. Um, so some of it just needs to find, a, find a place in the house to go. But wouldn't that be nice if some little fairies came in and cleaned up the basement for me. We still have Christmas stuff in the basement. Again, a lot going on. So we never got much of our Christmas stuff up. And it's still sitting where it went when we took it back downstairs. So maybe, maybe that's what I'll do for Mother's Day is work on the basement. I would like to get it cleaned up because it drives me insane. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna end this here, and um, again, thank you for watching. Thank you for hanging in there. Thank you for all your messages, and please um, don't forget to like, comment, or subscribe if you're not already. Um, it helps in the analytics, and since I've been gone for so long, I'm down in the analytics. So. All of the above will help bump me back up so people can find me again who might have thought I was permanently lost. <laughs> um, so if you wouldn't mind doing that for me, I appreciate it. Even if you just want to put, you know, thumbs up in the comment section, it does help with the analytics. And then I will hopefully be able to record just a regular video um, this weekend. And I'm going to hope that I can get back into a pattern. It's hard when you've been away 
to get back into the routine of you know pulling a chart and doing a video so um, I'm, I'm gonna do I'm, I'm gonna work hard at it to become a weekly thing again so but I need your encouragement um, let me know you're out there watching so you all take care have a great weekend we're in a tornado watch one one meteorologist says oh the weather conditions are the same as they were back in 1975 when we had the the May tornado that went through Omaha and the other meteorologist says oh it's going to go north of us so who knows what's going to happen we need some rain though we do need rain we don't necessarily need a tornado so I'll take the rain though so anyway have a great weekend and we will see you next time take care till then goodbye